Safwell. I'm a technical officer at Air Services. I'm based in Melbourne and I work in the project and engineering department. In the area I work in, we're responsible for the navigation beacons, instrument landing systems and the radar. It's extremely important that it works. We need to make sure it works 24-7 for the aircraft and for the air traffic controllers to be able to safely work. We have electrician, radio technicians, uh, mechanics, uh, they just keep the maintenance up to make sure all the equipment works and they also do the installments of the new equipment as well. Yeah, we have quite a few remote sites, there's one in particular which is Alice Springs. Um, the guys in Perth, they have to drive up and down Western Australia and they can easily drive 500 k's in a day um, and they can spend up to two weeks away from home. So I've just graduated, so I've been on the field for about 12 months. So I'm still developing my skills and technique to work on the equipment. Um, they based us up at Wagga Wagga at the Riverina TAFE there. We spent two years there developing our skills in the classroom. So we got to learn a lot about radios, uh, communication, electronics. And in a couple of years time I can be working on radars which help navigate the aircraft. I can be working on basically any equipment, so satellite, um, ILS which helps land the aircraft. A typical day in work for me could be here in Melbourne working on the equipment, building things, testing things or I could be out on a remote site like Mount William up in the Grampians. But it's definitely active. We're up and about doing a lot of things, carrying a lot of test equipment around the place which is always going to be quite heavy work. Yeah, it's just it sounded interesting, it was something different. Um, and then once I got into it and actually saw what they actually did, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. No one else gets to do this type of stuff. We're the only company that does it. I'd recommend other people to come work in your services if they don't want a normal job behind the desk. If you were really into aviation, you'd love the place too because there's plenty of aviation stuff to do.